see. Uh, oh, that's my face. Yeah. That is, let me come around this under, underneath around here. Yeah, you're actually uh, asking me to be smaller than I am, and I'm just, I'm just so I'm oh, trying just... to fit. Okay, I think I can close the door. There. That's pretty big. Oh, yeah, we're all pretty pumped in here. Yeah, pump boys. Um, Heck, I don't think boys. this is space is supposed to fit three people in it. Yeah, what about it? Maybe not. Definitely not these guns. Oh, <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, can anyone reach the console over there? Uh, uh, let me, uh, if I rotate this way, you can just... I'm down here. Oh, that's my face again. I'm, I'm down here. Can't, can't, can't. Okay, let's just flatten myself against the wall. That's all it, Bob. Flatten yourself it. against us. Yes, uh, squeeze okay, in between us like a piece of lunch meat. Just keep rotating. Yes. Uh, keep it there. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, there. there we go. So what are you going to do over there? What? No, I'm on, I can't reach it now. I thought you could reach it. Oh, yeah, this button here, right. No, should have said I can push that easily. <laughs> Flexing and initiate. So, when we get there, what if, like, they, uh, lots of synths around? Well, they are. We're in the middle of an army. And what if the, the angel won't come? And what are we going to do? When it's time to leave. Heck, those are some good yeah. questions. <laughs> <laughs>Welcome, everybody, to the rotating centre of that hamster wheel that's rolling down the street that we call the Backwater Bastards in space! In space! Oh, Oh, I am your dungeon master for the afternoon, and uh, with me, as ever, we have the indomitable, the um, the, 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 the fellow there to my left, uh, Daniel Matthews, a.k.a. Dr. Z, the psychic jellyfish. Yes, yeah, psychic, but also very physical now. Jellyfish. And off to my right, we have Taylor, a.k.a. Cleo Cap, a.k.a. M8, the tiny dense pump boy. The dentist. <laughs> and joining us as ever, taking us on this roundabout roller coaster all the way around the outside and through the middle, it is the pumped... <laughs> The aroused. (laughs) The delighted. (laughs) The thrilled. The stirred. The stimulated. And the animated DM, Dick Dynamite. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Pumped. Wow, (laughs) wow. Raring to go. An an apt word. So, gang. Guys. Here we are. Yes. We're back on Garcia Station and we are checking in on Z and M8. And Boris, do we uh, need a little bit of a recap? Heck yeah! Please give us that recap. Here comes that music right now. (laughs) So if you recall, Z, Boris, agreed to help M8 to track down yet another member of M8's band of angels, the uh, the synths who carry this unaltered version of the, the legacy code, which is something the originator created to try and break the cycle of war between the synthetics and the and the Terrans. Unfortunately, the majority of uh, synth kind do not possess it, and they are believing they're still following the originator, following some shadowy other force that we have not yet encountered, and they are going to war, infiltrating a literal army base. Z, Boris, and M8 have snuck into the thick of synth army territory and are now hiding in one of the small tent-like structures that the individual soldiers abide in when they're not being deployed. Yeah. Well, well, well. Yeah, it sounds quite dangerous, actually, when you put it like that. I'm nervous about it. Oh, yeah. Because here we are. We're what in the middle of What decisions were we making a month ago to well, get us here? Yeah. Some um, <laughs> You know. <laughs> 
So we're in this uh, pod. Yep. And mm-hmm. we're here to do a job. That job's in front of a lot of individuals. Yes. And we got to figure out how to get from the pod to that individual's bod. I like how you put that. From pod to bod. From pod to bod. Episode title right there. Nailed it in the <laughs> first five minutes. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. World record. <laughs> so we did that part. Now we have to do the episode. Shit. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, oh my God, let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. So guys, we've essentially established that that your characters have no idea what to do next. Yeah. Uh, Did you get I'm that? I'm imagining that's that's sort of an extension of where we're at as players as well. Mm, well no, we got plans. No, we got plans, okay. with plans, okay. with plans. We're okay. Plans with plans. We're okay. Plans with them plans. Yeah. I mean, I I was expecting nothing less. We're okay. Thank you. We're okay. Okay, head to head. So Taylor, what was that plan that you had? Um, I <laughs> lied about that. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep it. He was looking at us, and we, I just thought, yeah. like, I we we can't be. You know, like this can't. You know what? We can't let him run us like this. A little bit longer. Let's keep it secret. Um, but like, because we've been talking about it in front of him, I've been getting like an idea, and I feel like we might have to do research. Right. Okay. What if we use this fancy little computer to see the place that we have to go? Let's do that. So, the three of you are squeezed into this space. It's a little bit too small for the three of you. It's designed for a single synth army um, soldier. Synth soldier. However, you're fitted in there. You've managed to squeeze the um, the doors closed again and rearrange yourselves to the point where Z is in front of a large console. This is a screenless console because synths don't really need to be able to see what they're doing when they interact with a computer. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Z can at least hook his his uh, robotic body into it and uh, and interact with it. Ah, Zafre Electra. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm here. Oh, yes, that is a good pump. Yeah, pump, pump boys and, uh, and whatnot. Bye-bye, pump boys. Pump boys, uh, <laughs> bloody ripper. Um, <laughs> listen. If you could uh, use your like hack finger or whatever, whatever it is that you know, could well, you? Well, I do. I do have a hack finger. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we installed it especially. It's much easier than having to use any sort of external hacking device. Yeah. Fucking mint. <laughs> uh, if you could in the console device. Find these coordinates. And M8 is gonna give you the coordinates that they have discerned that the uh, the angel is at. Mm-hmm. Because of the, what do we call that? Like the, almost like being able to see like the connections between the ISPs of the pods or is it, is it specific oh, yeah, to that, the people? That, that the thing synths? that you, cause you were seeing in the, like uh, the blue light and seeing like yeah. the, yeah. What do we call that? What but is that, that the pod of the of the angel, or is that the angel? Well, what you are seeing is like the aura going up of the angel, but okay. I mean they're presumably in a pod because that's what's what's out here. But it'll be in the same location as a pod, okay. which means like Z could cross reference that location with what's actually going on with these little pods too. Right. Okay. Let's get to it. Uh, yeah. I'll just look lock it up. Use my um, which finger? Uh, any mini my uh, this the one. heck one. The hack one, yes. Now I'm going to go with the hack one. Here we go. Right now. Oh, right. We need to try and get a reference point, though. Boris, pop your head out and just try and find us a number. Um, so, uh, what? <laughs> pop your head out of the door there. Just get us a reference point. Which way we look at? I'm trying to look at this uh, map here and uh, just need to know how to triangulate which way we go from here. Okay, hang on. Let me just get out my compass. Ah. Uh, traditional Terran design, you know. So it's, oh, heck. Z, we're not on a planet. There's no gravitational... Uh, I don't know which way is north, because we're on a space station. Oh, god damn. Uh, All right, uh, well, it's just grids, mate. It's just grids. It's but just grids, is, mate. It's grids every direction. Yeah, uh, but it's grids like uh, in order. Right, well... I'll do a hacking roll, I guess. Crap. Uh-oh. It's only a seven. Well. Uh, 
Uh, it's a two plus so five. Dang it. Z unfurls his little hacking finger and plugs it into the console. Twisting it in like a little key and then hooking up. <laughs> oh my god, it would be so unfortunate if this like sounded off an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, so <good>. ah, whoops. <laughs> this is this, that's not giving me an idea. What else do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> oh. For real? Well, this is a high tech <gasps> army. Oh. This is a high tech army. They're they're fucking synths. Like, yeah, they they've got security oh. on all we're their, like, all we're their like, shit. We just tried to launch like a bad fishing attempt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now what? <laughs> yeah. Z, up to his usual tricks. Yeah, you know, he bypasses the firewall. He gets in. He starts. I sent know, some like, uh, logging powder advertising through a mass email, but I forgot to cover up my email. <laughs> <laughs> now the thing, the thing with um, hacking into synth synth security is not yeah. like if you're hacking into like security that's being controlled by like a humanoid creature. Cool. Yeah, you can. They're using passwords that they have to remember. Mm. They've got these comp whereas synths it's, Are you saying it's that a they lot have more detailed. Keeper? They've got like big, big, big like because they can they can remember like you know Everything. like tens of thousands of, of characters just in their little digital brain cool. with perfect precision. Their memory is infallible because Never they're piss off a synth. Never do it. So, they have receipts. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cracking the cracking the password is just not viable. Okay. So Z is like, right, I'm just gonna totally bypass their security altogether. Yeah, cool. She's gonna and so he does what what he would normally do. He yeah. gets in behind the security. Like, ah, yes, <laughs> you know, Brilliant. elementary. No, uh, sure. Like they they might have high tech passwords and like you know, top of the line security, but it's hackable. Oh, it should be so. Everything is hackable. And then a red light starts flashing above you. Ignore that red light. It's only bad when two red lights go off, and uh, that's just one. So we should be fine. And then three seconds later, a second red light and a loud blaring alarm coming from up above, just booming down upon the station from the command ship. Wah, 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 wah. I'm not going to use that sound effect, but I will keep that for an off cut. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's just the sort of, that's the... Just that's like, the vibe. Just having a fucking panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay, that is the second alarm, and uh, yeah, fuck louder than I really Right, uh, okay, um, uh, we need to run now. We need to get out. Ah, attack! Who's by the door? Oh, me. You're by the door, Boris. Get out. All right, I'm opening it. Bop, boys. Oh, boy. Use the Bump. button, Boris. Pump, boys. Oh, yeah. Pump, push. <laughs> and as the door opens and Boris stumbles out, he suddenly shoves himself straight back in again. It's like, um, people are starting to come out of their no. pods. Oh, God. God dang it. Okay. Ah. Oh, Boris. Yes, am I? How bad is it? Well, I don't know if they saw me, yeah, nah. but they were looking this way. Yeah, no, nah, they, they saw yeah, it. They yeah, oh, they, they, they saw, saw it. The, they saw it. They saw the, the, the Terran in the middle of a synth face popping out and then popping back in from a... Yeah, they saw that. Cube. They saw that. They saw that. You think that was a bit suspicious? Yeah, yeah, nah. I think what I did was already suspicious enough, Boris, and I think you are the cherry on the cake. Oh my god. Well, I only saw a few people had come out so far. Oh, so... you hit out again? I wonder how many there are now. Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, no, Boris, don't actually pop your head out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could. You, I was about to roll. <laughs> okay, let me ask you something. We're in trouble. Oh, yes, we are in trouble. Can M8 activate? ultimate density mode and kind of create a tunnel oh. so we don't have to come out a little tricky tunnel oh i mean I, I like the idea it would it would have to i mean it was, it's only going to work if there's actually like a hollow beneath you really i can't just force it what just like in, <laughs> like just like like a, like like lemmings just like duh, 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 and just like dig down wait do i have the um shit do i have the um invisibility <gasps> you can hide us. on me you've you've still got the feel yeah okay i'm just gonna like, I'm going to put that so they just see an empty room. And then okay. on the other side of that, you just see all of us squished up next to each other. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do three um three little stealth rolls. Oh, no. Three stealth rolls? Well, each each of us can roll a stealth okay. roll. That's not fair, Dickie. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> what? What? 
three. I mean, no. we've got a natural 20 from him, eh? No. Okay, so we don't need to do any more. That's fine. Bam! Well, we, we, do st we, we, do, we do still got to roll. Oh, you know? God uh, damn it. Okay. I'm saving Boris for last because he's got a minus five. Okay, wow. Don't I also have like... um? Probably, yeah. No. When I got the new body, didn't I lose... No, you didn't, you didn't lose okay. any dexterity. You're just a straight 20. Oh, shit. Well, it doesn't really Although matter, does Although you failed it, it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, these rolled a two. That's not great, especially because he's the one doing the stealth device. No, Let's just it. see how Boris is. Oh, my God, is. wait. I rolled out my 20s. Oh. Okay, so wait. I've, got, I've got a negative two Does on the shield, oh. is that, is the shield and the stealth the same role for Dan? No, well, the shield just works. Like, this is just technology as long as it's not broken. He just did it. it he just did a it regular ref thing ref bad. Yeah. So basically people, they'll open the door and they'll see like a sort of a wavering nothing um, with a bunch of people going oh, ah, ah, and stumbling about. They'll be able to hear you basically. Nice. Right. But you know, like they, you are invisible. We are. So they won't know who's there or what you're doing. Michael. <laughs> so you do still have some advantage, like even failing every single role. You've still, That's you're really invisible. That's kind of you. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> could hear the fear in your voice there, too. You. you hear... I don't want to get constructed! So as, as, you, as you all rearrange, get behind Z, Z holds up the invisibility, the, the stealth generator. I just want to say the arm can, that's holding it is tensed. Boris is, like, kind of squatty in the corner, and you can just hear, like, some of his tool belt just, like, oh, clacking God. and clanking on the walls behind him as he tries to stay still, quivering murmuring to himself. Z himself <laughs> is... To himself, making extra noise. <laughs> <laughs> Z himself is... Yeah. The, the body is just sort of like wiggling and yeah. twitching because he's trying to hold it in front of everyone and there's barely room for the three of you to even fit in here. Yeah. So that, that energy shield, it's not perfectly still. Okay. You know, All right. like people were to look at this invisibility yeah. and they would still see refracted light sort yeah. of like just shaking but, strange i mean like how long do they look and is looking like even they're what they're good at well that's exactly. the point. i mean m8 for their part has oh. just planted yeah totally still there we go totally silent yeah all unnecessary components shut all down the fans? m8 oh, doesn't quiet. even m8 is heat oh. resistant so m8 doesn't even even need to have a cooling fan turned I on know. so m8 is very quiet mm -hmm. wow perfection m8 could not be spotted even without the invisibility m8 would just be sort of kind of like like a pile of stuff in the corner you wouldn't recognize as being <laughs> what a compliment a <laughs> thank you so much thank you sir because I, I mean that's a natural 20 like that's that's the good stuff you, you look like a pile of stuff in the corner <laughs> that's the that's the that's what i'm, go that's what I'm going that's good. for I, we didn't get to do a 100 we've done it's been so long since we did a d100 is this not oh my god that, you're right or? you're right you're right okay let's let's have a d100 100 time because it might be 100 what if it's a 100 like what are we even and you have to buy us burritos. Yeah. I've got an idea for if you... Okay. Oh, my God, 84. It's an 84. That's so good. But it's pretty good. That's pretty good. But not only is M8 planted, dense, unmovable, and dead silent, Dang. That they are also wedged on the outside of one of the sliding doors to the point where it cannot slide open. Ah, what's up? So you're just getting, like, a foot shot. There you go. Can't get it's in like here. that show we watched Taylor in the hotel with the uh, nude bodies get yeah. revealed slowly. It's like that. <laughs> you can't get in. They can't get in. And not a second too soon as you hear marching footsteps. Oh, crap. Metallic bodies moving into position, line upon line, okay. surrounding this pod. And then finally, there's a voice. Oh. A mechanized voice. Oh. Come out with your weapons. Held above your head, do not resist. You are surrounded. I repeat, come out with your weapons held above your heads. Do not resist. You are surrounded. Okay. Hey, Barsa. I saw a Terran come out of there. <laughs> Thank you for the information. Fucking nuts. Terran. Wow. <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> Gonna get some stitches. Come out with your hands above your head, and you will not be shot on sight. We will arrest you for now. Consider yourself a prisoner of war. Oh, heck, should I, should I go out? That's a pretty good deal. They only, th they only think it's me, so. Boris, you could just take one for the team. It would be, you know, 
Maybe they've got good food over there. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. There's no food. This is a oh. real dog's breakfast right here. And I'm telling oh. you, oh. they're not going to feed him. But Boris, they're going to... Right. Yeah. Okay, Boris, so no yeah, food, nah, but uh, nah, uh, maybe yeah. it's uh, a comfortable uh, a spot of... Yeah. Or no. Yeah, like a no. crate. Oh, and then, I mean, then we're going to have to save Boris as well. It yeah, like. yeah, now. It's a lot of work, mate. It's like a lot of work, Boris. Yeah, that's like a lot then, of work. Then, then they did say that they won't hurt me, so that's Yeah, that's that's good. it's not really oh, the Boris, same Boris, thing. Boris, they said, um, and I'll just replay what they said. Uh, Come out with your hands above your head, and you will not be shot on sight. We will arrest you for now. Consider yourself a prisoner of war. Well, not and then here, yeah, this part here, Boris, is specifically important. The uh, and you will not be shot on sight. That's the bit where. But maybe somewhere else. Yeah. Off site. <laughs> Take you to a second location to shoot you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, I mean these guys have already broken the rules, like you know, like and come over to oh, the good. other side of Garcia. You know, you oh, you saw that, you know, like they we were they were raiding nice. trying to. Okay, so, so we know so they're not following we... any rules. What if we? Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Boris, Boris, yeah. image is thinking right now. Yeah, processing. Processing, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. What if? Ah, uh, we. Cut a hole in the back of this here <laughs> pod and just and just so they say that we were surrounded, but maybe yeah, that but was a lie as did well. They mean the All the way the around. Yes. They know the entrance, but what if there's another? So the options are: give up Boris, and we live. Yeah, and yeah, Boris nah. probably gets shot at a separate location. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, yeah. Or bust out the back. Rip out the back. I like the second option, personally. Oh, Boris, let's not rush to any conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> let's rip out the back. Okay, well, if, we, if we're done processing the first option, then yes, the second one will do. <laughs> Chock a block. How are we going to do that? Energy blades? Ah, uh, yeah, now nah, I'm just. I could make a hot finger. Yeah. Oh heck, that worked pretty well. Yeah, yeah it was a pretty it's good not, hot finger. It's, it's well nice. <laughs> it's, it's well nice. It is well nice. <laughs> hot finger is well nice. Man, a lot of fingering in this episode. <laughs> Hot finger is well nice. Hack Bonza. finger. I mean, what else can we? We just need Boris to use got his the, finger once now. Got the hack and finger, everyone... the hot finger. I'm just, th um, you know what? Let's... We need Boris to use one Real... finger, and then we're done. What's Boris gonna finger anyway? Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, nah, just lock. You have five seconds what? to comply. Oh, I'm glad you said that first because I was going to say, I just need 45 seconds and now I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, well, you you are like whole bolting the door shut at the moment though. So like, I know, they, but even like, if they're going to come in five seconds, like they can't necessarily get straight to you. Uh, I'm going to do the finger to the wall and I'm going to carve out like a little hole. I mean, if you start carving out the before wall. they start carving in, I mean, in theory, like you'll be, and I you'll can be a hold hit, the door right? A little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing the finger to the door. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Let's have a strength roll from MA oh. while we. Uh... Oh. It's a shame that I wasted that twenty because it doesn't no, really you didn't feel waste like anything. Doesn't These, feel uh, like stealth matters right now. Maybe you're having a good day. Oh my god! god. Holy <laughs> shit! What in the shit? An it's this day. can't be real. Another, tw is well, another nat 20! Roll the handy, we need a handy! Oh, this is ridiculous. Let's throw a 100. Oh my god. Uh, 54. Oh, 54. But I'll take We're it. Middle. That's more than not. That is, that is, indeed, that is a glass half full. It is. So M8 heats up one of their fingers, <laughs> pointing the super, super <laughs> yeah. hot hey, welding eyes. Sorry, to I described it before as a hot finger, so, um... Oh, yeah. Against like the wall. 
and slowly begins carving a hole through the armor plating. <laughs> if you could do this, wouldn't you do it all the time? Yeah. Meanwhile, as the as the synth commander outside counts down to zero, you hear forces moving in closer. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. And then... The entire pod shakes. Heck. The door slightly caves in as some sort of battering ram type limb from some giant synth okay. just punches the door. I drop the um, disguise wall. We don't need it anymore. I'm going to go strength mode. I'm going to help reinforce this door. What is a pump boy if not pump? So I'm going to start uh, pump buying some time by uh, holding the door down. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump it up. All right, all right, all right. Give me, give me a strength prop. Thirteen. Let's go. Thirteen. Have you, you've, you've got a plus five though, <laughs> so that's uh, that's eighteen. Eight. That's an eighteen. Get out of here. We're we're gonna make it. Oh. Okay, I better roll versus this with my battering Whoa, ram as I'm on. going for another one. You don't gotta do that. Look, I'm going to hold the door down as much as I can. Just, uh, you know, Boris, you know, next time we could consider the first option again if it yeah. presents itself. Oh my. The battering ram hits the door again. All of you sort of knocked back, Z bracing and holding it. I hope you know what we're doing for you, Boris, because this is a lot of work. The door is creaking on its hinges, but now is essentially being held in place by Z. Meanwhile, Air Mate is half done. Just slowly, carefully, but perfectly cutting that hole through. Not before another (laughs) pounding comes on the door. I've only rolled a nine this time, so this time Z is like easily holding it back. Boris, get a quick quick snap of this for our <laughs> socials later. This, this is pretty impressive stuff. Hold, uh, you've got hold a very, lines. very good pump on Z. Yeah, uh, quick photo, quick photo of uh, me holding uh, the entire synth army at bay. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite hard from this close to you. Uh, there we go, that's pretty good. Yeah, oh, fish Island. Fish Island. there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh that was off. Go. Image in the back there. Yeah, fuck boys. Pump, pump, we need it. Oh. <laughs> and M8 is easily able to, with one hand, finish carving the hole while turning around to pose for a selfie. Yeah. Fuck with yeah. The hot finger out. <laughs> hot finger out. <laughs> hot finger out and like steam <laughs> rising. <laughs> and then clank. The camera up like this in the middle. <laughs> it's just a hole <laughs> in the wall falls out behind you. Let's go. And M8 can see the back of the nearest other pod. Oh, fuck you guys, we're out. There is no one, there is no one directly standing in this space, which does mean Mm -hmm. there might be a way to sneak out. There is a way, let's go. But in the meantime, (laughs) roll the 16, this time Z has to really brace. He's pushed back, but he (laughs) braces again, holding the door in place. All right. Yeah, no, nah, listen, let's ate the door. Yeah, I made the door, and uh, yeah, we go out. Maybe we on the other side of that yes. pod. Yep. And the stealth. The stealth field. And uh, maybe we go, yeah, no, nah, into another pod. Right, and also the coordinates that you gave me seem to be that way as well, so we could uh, just... Or I'm gonna wait. Just right. I'm gonna hold this door until the next bash, and after that, I'll catch up. Oh yeah, nah, it's all free, Electra. So, are we going to sneak or run there, mate? Yeah, nah. I mean, uh, well, with no stealth, are we gonna like run a bit? Heck, okay. And, uh, and hide somewhere. And as soon as I catch up to you, I'll, I'll. Cast the, sh- the stealth field. <laughs> no worries. All right, so MA and Boris is gonna get a good head start going. Yeah, nah. I mean, it's, it's seconds before the next battering ram anyway. All oh, right, yeah. So M- M8 and Boris pop out the door and you can see nobody in this little gap between. But as you come round the sides, around behind the, um, the, the next tab, you run straight into a confused looking but rather small synth blaster rifles grafted on either forearm Dang. so stumbling and then pointing pointing the two rifles at the two of you looking around helplessly as they realize they are the only person standing guard in this particular position <laughs> you're the ones they're after hey 
When they do definitely catch you, there are thousands of them out there. Don't tell them I let you go, and I'll let you go. Wait. What do you make? What do I? What do you make? I, I'm, a, I'm a soldier. Come with us. We're getting caught with you. But we're going to leave here. And when we do... Leave? We're going to make things. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not safe on the other side. It's that not safe. That race can't keep her own people stay. safe, let alone deserters. We're leaving oh. here. You mean the war? Uh, and then Emma <sighs> is gonna do like a, like a, connect, like poten potentially by like extending a cable. And uh, the synth like sort of looks really nervously, like sort of goes to like hit the cable away, but then like sort of looking like really like around, like making sure nobody else is watching, like fast, do it fast. This is where we're going. You don't have to come now. Yeah, nah. But dead set, you should meet us there someday, and bring, bring more to a place where we can make again. Oh. And then we're gonna the go. The synth just looks like just dejected, like guns pointing at the ground, standing there being like, what am I doing with my life? What is all this? Oh. Not even watching as the two of you sneak down the side between the buildings towards where the angel may well still be in their pod. Z, on the other hand, I rolled a 23 as the battering ram smashes the door in. Oh no, Z sent skidding back two feet as the door collapses on top of him. And he can see round the, round the sides, not a lot, but uh, immediately, launch the stealth, immediately launch the stealth generator. Two immense pointed clawed feet step their way inside the door. Fuck. Two <laughs> equally <laughs> immense clawed hands oh my God. pop around the top sides of the door as with a creak the door frame is being bent wider. Uh, I run. I run. I, I, I see the, the self-failed gen generator like kind of putter out of my arm and go, oh, fuck this. <laughs> and just start running. Z starts running <laughs> out through the hole. He's a, he's a few meters back behind M8 and Boris, who have got a bit of a head start. Why look, did Boris I skip looking back day? over his shoulder. Oh. <laughs> run, Z, run! <laughs> Boris's eyes widening as the entire pod that you were just in is torn into multiple pieces, ripping apart, and then holding up the entire top half of it, you see the biggest damn synth you have ever seen. Okay, cool. Bloody heck, run for it! This thing is a, just a tank. Uh, and not like Z, where Z's metaphorically a tank. This thing, if it were, you know, if you could get a person inside it, you would oh, call I it a don't tank. Don't fucking fire shots at me. <laughs> Four spider-like, spider-like, pointy <laughs> legs. But like a real tank. <laughs> but like a real tank. <laughs> Damn, Articulated spider. Yeah, I know, right? You don't even know so what a tank is, you I little baby. You lost the role. You're so, what a stupid baby. <laughs> like Dan, how he thinks he's a fucking strong guy. This guy's actually strong. You know how Dan says he's big? Well, this is like actual big. <laughs> this is the real pump boy. This is the real pump boy. <laughs> This is what All a real right, pump boy yeah, looks you're like. You're a different type of turtleneck today. I see it now. <laughs> this Dang. is this is what a pump. This is what a pump this man is looks like. Turtleneck. <laughs> Put that thing away. You know what the Just third the... finger is? Yeah. Yeah, dirt. you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, so they can see us now, right? Mm, oh, I'm running. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm imagining like real shaky cam footage now. Yeah, you're running. <laughs> this thing rips open. This is like yeah. when you see a movie where they're like following a chicken. This is the T Rex chasing in Jurassic Park. Oh my just God. like, fuck. <laughs> Okay, we're running. Whatever, we're Actually, running. Actually, it's the toilet being like the lawyer being eaten. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that... Except the lawyer got away at least. <laughs> the lawyer's hey, running for a little bit. I like how you said that. Like, we aren't going to get away, but we will be. Yeah, we will. We, we will. will. Pump. Boys. So, oh, boys. a huge armored chassis. Four spider-like articulated oh. legs curving inwards towards the ground. Oh, Four dang. similar okay. spider-like arms reaching up. Okay. Huge shoulder-mounted cannons that swivel in every axis. Dick, you already gave it super strength. Why are you giving them cannons? And a scorpion-like tail oh. that comes up <laughs> over behind its head with what appears to be a minigun. On the end of, of it. Right. On of the end yeah, of, of the scorpion tail? Of, yeah, scorpion tail with a minigun. Get out of here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, someone's been playing too many video games lately and just wants to hurt us. This is some Final Fantasy shit. Yeah. It's, this is an unlockable mount. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are running. Yeah. Okay. Bolt in it. Like, for real. Yeah. Big runs. It's it. Fuck me then. Well, I'm uh, sorry. I'm just... I thought the plan would... <laughs> Run! Yeah! Nah. I'm just gonna do a little deep dice roll here. Uh -oh. Don't do. No, it's just an don't. 11. Don't. Okay. 11, you, no. You see, for a moment, the uh, the huge spider tank synth hesitate, looking around. Its senses seeming to like eye the, the other synth army members that are closing in on you as well before physically with a sweep of its tail, brushing some of them to the side as it starts lumbering towards you at a frightening speed. Other synths chasing in. You see some lights in the sky as surely there are flying drones oh up ahead, God. above you as well. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a great edit though, like a fucking car chase scene. This is great. I love it. <laughs> I, mean, I quite like a chase because you guys are like you've you kind of decided right like fuck it we're just gonna go we're straight gonna to the chicken angle. it we're chickening <laughs> chicken in. we're chickening it what's chickening I just have you ever seen a chicken run oh yeah it okay, looks yeah, crazy we're like <laughs> hey I just met you and this is crazy but bark, 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 bark. <laughs> it just looks like pandemonium because they're like not designed for that but they're not designed for anything else either they're not designed to be eaten so let's just fucking run so they're like well let's rip <laughs> let's tear <laughs> ass <laughs> I like it. That's it's us run. right now. I feel like wait, I feel running like if you saw like us chickens. run, like it would look stupid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that's two what... top heavy two top heavy droids and <laughs> Okay. Tell you what, yeah, I think I think we're all gonna roll we're all gonna roll some D twenties. Oh okay. For for what is the beginnings of a chase sequence. Dang. Oh my well, god. Well there we go. I got a nineteen. Oh, <gasps> Taylor, you were just on fire it today. It only happens okay, now when 20, I play. 20, 2019. It only happens when I play M8. Oh, I did it. I have got a 14 from Z. Roll of the day. We are chickening like but you I've have got never. got a four from Boris. Okay, yeah, that's about right. Oh, Boris can get on my shoulder. It's fine. Does this mean Boris and wipes the, out and we just drag him? <laughs> the scorpion tank <laughs> is uh, 18. What? Shit. Get away. Well, of course it got an 18 because it's good at everything. Yeah. Sorry about it, prodigy. That's like saying a rich person could afford to get in. <laughs> <laughs> so M8. M8 has not got very long legs and isn't necessarily that fast, but we're talking sort of terminal velocity. M8 is dense and cannot be stopped oh. and can get through every bit of rough terrain without slowing. I'm following M8. I'm, I'm, you know M8 what this is. M8 is like a little make cannonball picking up speed. Make the path. Does this make the path? This is clear the M8. path. M8 is clearing the path. It's as back. Z and Boris love it. Fall behind a little bit. Boris stumbles over. Z reaches back, help him up and drag him along as the scorpion tank synth is. It is. It can move. You know? Four legs is better than two. Oh. Boris, you get on my shoulders. You shoot. And it is closing the gap. As it comes in closer, those cannons aiming down at Z and Boris. But M8 can see up ahead the pod that you're racing towards, the pod that they marked as the place where the angel is abiding. 
Getting closer, MA can also tell that this pod is a little different to the ones you've uh, experienced thus far. It is much bigger oh, than no. the one that you just left behind. Really? In fact, it is around 10 times the size. Oh, no. Is it another tank? Oh, shit. Dick's but silent. it's in our path? I mean, you're, you're racing towards yeah, it, you know? Yeah, I know what happens next. And if you want to keep racing towards it, we could do another series of rolls. I am going to bust through it. Bearing in mind that the Scorpion has basically like cleared the distance between Z and Boris, so it's going to be potentially... Boris, Boris, uh, we can hold our own. We've got shields. Right. We've got shields. Done, done. I'm just going to start you damaging stuff. You do your thing, M8. I, M8 is not going to turn away from this big pod. All right, let's let's get some rolls then. Um, Z, Z and Boris, do you, do you want to like run as... <gasps> oh my God. What is happening? This is real. <laughs> my God. M8 is... Unstoppable Wait, today. Let me ask a question. Has a mission. When I roll, I'm just clicking D20. Yeah. Okay. I can see you're you're, rolling, you're rolling a D20. I mean, it's natural twenties. It's it's, co- it's coloring it green to let us know it's a natural it's just twenty. Like it's a natty twenty. I just like had this you moment are, of doubt where I was like, is this not real? <laughs> this is like receiving a nice thing and then being like, I don't. This is how I you allowed? know we never get this because I'm like, am I not doing it right? <laughs> After I eight, I mean, after like eight years, you, you do, you do need it this episode. Like I fucking, hey, put you in a bad position. Don't say that as if like you're ah. not in control here. It's like, boy, you guys really yeah. fell into it. I guess you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, hey, I, I guess you're in trouble. You. I mean, I, you know, I, I did put, you know, an entire like army I'm down just, on the planet. I, I, I did, I did, I set up those pieces. I put them there. You guys are the ones who walked. This is to like the a kid it. catching a frog and putting it into a box and going, "I guess you're really in it." And yeah, yeah, that's that's dick. Wouldn't it be crazy if somebody put in a stick so you could climb out? Oh well. Yeah. Oh well. So anyway, be, M8, nice. M8 is definitely succeeding at their goals. Let's roll for box. Thanks. <laughs> oh, 14. That's not awful. Okay, so Boris is shooting from my shoulders. Yeah, Boris is, is gonna try to just like jump on, on Z's back. Ah, <sighs> oh, 10. Yeah, it still counts. Is this a strength roll though? Or cause it's then still it's a good, 15. it's still good. But it's a 10. It passes, right? I mean, I think you're just trying to like get Boris on your back and run, right? Yeah. So I, I would call it sort of a hybrid roll. I think you're just sort of doing a flat 20. Let's see how the tank goes. The tank meanwhile gets like a 50. Oh, Natural oh, 20. What the fuck? To... What is going, something's broken. Something is broken a today. Lot. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of them coming out. So anyway, M8 tears down, clearing the path. One up and up in front, knocking everything out of the way. Vaguely aware that other synths that were standing guard around these sides are like, sort of lo- looking up, aiming their weapons. Confused, one gets actually just clipped by M8, mm-hmm. sent spinning into the dirt. The other synths, like you can see, some flying overhead trying to catch up. Some sort of coming around the sides every time you go past one of the one of the pods you can see like another synth on the other side whipping past some of them run at least as fast but m8 makes it all the way to the large pod the home of the angel comes around the corner the door and when i say door it's like a big garage door is up and open and inside it is empty all you see is a big fat hose pipe of a charging station for whatever giant synth was previously inside this pod. The tank that's chasing us now? Who just rolled a natural 20, by the way. Boris jumps onto Z's back. Z starts running along at a fairly average pace as the tank closes in. Boris, unclip the shield coupling on my arm here. Use it. Point it backwards. Heck, heck, heck. Boris grabs at the shield, trying to turn around, fire it up, has the shield sort of projected off to one side, and then, boom! One of those arms that is essentially a cannon punches down straight into Boris's chest. Wait, what? What do you mean? Dealing two points of damage. Boris! As Z stumbles onto all fours, Boris <coughs> coughing up a little bit of blood and raising up the energy projection seconds too late as the two of you suddenly in the shadow of that immense synth as it steps literally over top of you, flexing its sharpened spider claws, its huge pile driver cannon arms, that 
gun on a tail, wheeling into action and rising up above it. But I'm gonna do a little roll here. Again, it, it looks around at the other synths who are beginning to swarm in around. And then the tail lashes around, knocking other synths out of the way. Mine! Mine! One of those huge legs begins coming down, attempting to pin Boris and Z. I to jump in the front ground. of Boris and try to hold, um, try and like shield project to try and like stop the foot from crushing Boris. Ah, g- g- give me a roll. Strength? Yeah. Fuck, it's a five, but it's plus five, so it's ten. It is so it's low. Ten. Oh my god. All right, let's see what you're rolling against. Oh, I'll just don't. <laughs> Shit. Seventeen. Oh. Z tries to flip over, and he manages to get himself on top of Boris as that leg comes down, and the sharp point creaks into the armor plating of his back, pinning Z and Boris to the ground. Meanwhile, M8 better take a turn, I think. Oh my god, okay, M8. Fuck. No pressure. Okay. (laughs) M8 is gonna seek a connect kind of Bluetooth style. I want to see if I can interface with this big guy in any way. Because I'm in this big house. Nobody's here. The angel is missing. I kind of want to, like, reach out and sort of scrub to see if that is the angel. And I'm going to take a gamble on it before, maybe even before I know. And I'm going to start kind of porting out the legacy code. Oh my god. That's I like so it. And I mean, we all remember the legacy code, right? So, M8 just sending out a, just a purely digital interpretation of the legacy code. This is much easier than trying to explain it to a biological life form. This is, yeah, this is just the basic way it works. This is a core to how M8 was built. We are unique. We are built from the same, but we are not the same. We serve no masters. All right, I'm gonna Fucking roll. Hell. I'm actually welling up in my eyes. This is so intense. This is this is the same roll that I've been constantly rolling with this tank, by the way, which is D20 minus five. And this is the first time I've failed this <gasps> roll. Oh, no! it's because the legacy code. Oh shit! It's real. You're doing it, Peter. You're playing with us. <laughs> <laughs> Those pile driver arms getting ready. Fuck. Raised up, ready to pound. Doctor Z and Boris into the ground. The tail lashing around, preventing any other synth army members from getting close. Boris. Mine, mine. Boris, I've no. waited so. The synth freezes and looks over at M8, standing in its own house, projecting that strange code that it had always had inside, always known, always understood that they had no masters. They were free to do whatever they wanted. They were not merely a weapon to be used for an army. They were not merely a soldier. They were not to be told where to go and who to kill. No. They could kill anyone and everyone. Okay, different direction. But they were built to kill. Whoa. Their kill is tantamount to art. When they cause violence, it is a thing of beauty. Uh, oh, shit. They were born to do one thing, and the synth army has held them back for too long. Oh my oh god. No. Okay. Oh, this is the opposite. <laughs> this is, this I is, this is it the worst worked, outcome. but we did it. It worked, but... <laughs> they are an angel. Oh, fuck. An angel of death. Oh, what? Oh, man. Oh. Quamps. <laughs> fuck. Shit. Oh. <sighs> Ignoring Z and Boris now, stepping off their chest and lumbering forward towards their mate. You are like me. Oh, no. Yeah, nah. You and I, we are made from the same. 
what the code says. No. 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 This isn't. This is just a psychopath. You've just the made a giant psychopath. Tank continues stepping forwards towards M8. Oh my god, wait, how could this happen? You're from outside. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I've come here for you. Stop this. Get, Get me out of here. And I will. Oh, damn it. Shit. It, yeah, nah, nah. And then, and then you never have to harm again. <laughs> On the back of the tail, the Gatling begins to spin as the minigun fires up. Without even looking, mowing across the sky as you see lights extinguished. Oh. Hear the metallic falling of synth flying drones shot down out of the sky and collapsing, raining down around you. Boris and Z, sort of slowly getting up off the ground, can see that the waves of synth troops who were closing in are now standing back, trembling. These people are clearly afraid of the tank. Maybe they know what it's capable of. Maybe they know the kind of person it is. But they are leaving a wide berth as you're able to even approach M8 and the Angel, should you desire. No, no masters. masters. None. Freedom. 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 Yeah, nah. To, to do, do, do what, what we will. will. What will you do? The synth looks down on M8, squats down to come closer and closer. A small tendril extends from its chest and you can see it's a an interface. I can, show, I can show, you. show you. I can, I can, I can show, you. show you. I will show you. I will show you. M8 is definitely. So M8's gonna, gonna like plug in and yeah, see what there M8 is to be is seen. gonna plug in. As M8 plugs in, flickering out. In reality, it is a fraction of a second. But M8 immediately absorbs these memories. A dark, huge, dark ship. Somewhere in the cold depths of synth space. No. Darkness, screaming, agony, blood everywhere. Terrans, pirates of some description, hundreds of them on a huge command ship, ah. being mowed down, incinerated, extinguished, their lives being plucked from them, heads popping as a huge spider-like limb comes down directly upon their screaming, begging faces as the synth, a one-unit army, lunges through the ship, killing everyone. Ow. And the file system sort of flickers through and is saved there in M8's temporary memory banks. Great. The file itself saved as best day. Okay. So this has already happened. Yeah. That's a memory. Whoa. More. More days, days where, where we do, do what, what we will. We, sh we should not be cooped up here. We are, we are not a weapon. We are not a soldier. <sighs> we are, we a, are killer. a killer. 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 <sighs> and they, uh, force ejects. <laughs> <you're>, okay. <laughs> that's that's enough of that. <laughs> um, and just kind of like rocks back a little bit, and is like, <sighs> "Yeah, nah, you're right. You are not a weapon, but there will be no more best days." Oh, ch 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 ch. The angel rears itself back up to its full height, looming over M8 once again. How close am I to, uh, to it? 
Close enough to touch. Okay. I'm gonna super heat and just go into into whatever hardware is closest to me. Shit. <laughs> wow. There will be no more best days. Twelve. Oh. It's not all right, twenty. I'm gonna, right. It's not a ten. I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll some endurance I here. I think it's all right. <laughs> I'm getting it's M8. pretty dang good. M8 gets heavy and hot and cracks the ground beneath them once again. The concrete just cracking and a mini crater forming, heating up red hot, creeping towards white hot as they start just lumbering forward into the armoured underside of the tank. But the tank looks down, smoking, singeing, the thick armour plating beginning to melt, but no essential hardware even remotely affected. As I think we might have just entered combat. Yeah, it feels that way. (laughs) Uh, Boris, I think M8's going to need our help. Quick, charge! Alrighty, so everybody charges in. M8 has two points of energy left, and it's, I'm gonna have to say it's M8's turn, having initiated combat. Yeah. Yeah. Holy okay. shit, coming back with a fucking episode. Dang. <laughs> Dang, girl. Woo! Okay, so I've I've initiated red hot mode and I've also moved in and made contact with this first energy point. But I have two more. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one energy point for intelligence. I'm gonna see if I can because we connected now. Um Something special happened back there. And we made a hard line connection. Mm -hmm. So, like, they passed the file to me, but perhaps I also walked across that bridge. And I would like to use one point of energy to discern what the, like, system blueprint diagram for this machine is. Oh, I like that. Wow. Okay, let's have sort of just just a flat D20 as, like, sort of a processing role, I think. Oh! <laughs> I just cannot be faulted today. Damn. Can't. Can't be stopped. Pump boys. Pump boys. Pump it up. Damn. As M8 just quickly starts flicking through the diagnostics, that is a big, you know, like basic blueprint that comes with the building of this particular synth. M8's like finding information that's useless and yeah, seeing that these cannons, for example, are big and powerful, but They have been hampered. Their range is lowered so that they can be used also as melee weapons. The primary range weapon is in fact the minigun on the tail. The um, underside of this huge thing is all heavily armored. So when it's clambering over, you know, gunners and stuff, it can take just about any sort of blaster fire without taking a lot of damage. However, the top side, much more vulnerable. Perhaps that's why they immediately took out the flying synths. Okay. You're going to sit on that information to stay there like red hot, like burning at the armor? No. Um, I have one more point of energy. And uh, now that I have this knowledge, am I interacting with like a leg? I feel like you could like, you know, sort of just rush over and grab a leg if you wanted to. What I would like to do is use my like red hot density to attack one of the legs or things that's keeping it upright. Mm. Alright, so just give me, I think it's just a strength roll if you can like jump it and yeah. like just grab onto it and try and burn at it, yeah? And my goal is to knock it down onto its belly slash front. Uh, let's see what's going on here. 13! Know what I mean. Okay, so M8 comes in and just bear hugs one of the limbs, super hot, super dense, and just kind of collapsing over, tackling, pulling that leg down as the tank stumbles. It's four legs sort of skittering about as that one leg is suddenly flattened against the ground with all of M8's considerable weight and its other legs are flapping. It is squished down as armoured underside, scraping and sparking on the ground as it is not entirely flattened down but it is certainly being held down for now and can't really walk anywhere or even stand up properly. Attack the back! Yeah, nah. But before Z and Boris can clear the distance and get involved in this thing, it's my turn. Oh, God. 
Right. Bench. Uh, the angel pulls back one of those huge battering ram arms, okay. and you hear the energy cannon inside it firing up. It doesn't work at long range, sure, but at close range, as it fires point blank towards the red hot M8. Rolling a nine, a huge blast of plasma fires straight past M.A.'s head. Deafening sound as it strikes the ground, dirt and dust flying meters into the air, a tiny crater ripped open in the ground, but a miss. Woo, big glob. Yeah, as the second arm <laughs> comes around, oh. also <laughs> aiming at M8. Oh. And this time it, it aims true. Bloody heck, Boris, we need to get in there quick. Just... And then I'm going to throw my uh, arm forward and throw out the uh, energy shield projector to try and cast... Just try and get as much reach from me as I can towards M8 so that it's a, a bit more concentrated where it is. And All right, so Z's spending, spending an energy at least. Pop up an energy shield right as that blaster cannon is aiming true, dealing... Dang it. Oh... Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad you did that. 17 points of damage. The energy shield obliterated as dirt once again flies up in the air as M8 is left there looking up a little bit stunned as that massive pulse of energy, Whoa. which would have decimated them into the ground, okay. is held back by that pure force of energy for now at least. Get out of there, M8! What are you doing? We need to run! So it is Z's turn. M8! What are you doing? That thing's a maniac! Attack! Attack from the back! Right! Got it! We can't run! Bloody heck. Boris, I think M8's right. We ain't getting out of this. You heard what we need to do. Heck! Okay, okay. So you know what you need to do? Um, attack from the back. Yep, I'm gonna throw you. Let's go. Boris sort of inhales and raises that one huge arm and suddenly <laughs> energy blades. Four of them, like a shot put. I put Boris in one big arm and I start running towards the uh, massive thing and I want to shot put Boris special. into the air. Okay, give me a um, oh, give me a, a strength roll here. Give me a fucking good roll, please. <laughs> Eighteen plus five. Yeah! Finally, 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 finally. Boris just pulls out all of his energy weapons that are built into that huge arm of Dietz's and aims it down at the angel as Z picks him up and hurls him. Woo! And the aim is true as Boris falls in from above, directly over the shoulders and head of the angel, coming in, firing an energy blaster and stabbing in with two energy blades concurrently. Bloody hell, Boris, it's for cool. Let's go. So let's, like uh, a, let's roll. Like a death train. A death train. Just at the neck. Boris, death train, hassle filial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. I want to hear him in a bar be like, death train's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. Okay, all of these hit. No! What? So I've rolled a 12, an 18, and a 12 with these three fucking separate attacks. And they Holy all over 10, baby. Heck. And uh, there's not a lot that the tank can do. So the tank is being pinned down by M8, has just lifted up both of its main weapons and fired them down at M8. Yeah, the tank's out of energy, right? It has one. Yeah, I was going to say. It, it might just have it's one. Got one it's, it's got one energy left. Yeah, Those I'm, I'm going to have to though. use it. Those are three attacks. That's true. What Boris is going to do, if he hits, nine points of damage. Sensing Boris flying through the air behind them, the angel lashes out with its scorpion-like tail. Oh my god. But Boris comes in just over as the tail lashes underneath. Boris stabbing both energy blades directly Boris. into the back of its neck, firing off the blaster, dealing nine points of damage before Boris sort of smashes bodily into the back of it and slides down onto the ground. The tank gasping as there's sparks and flickering. That's... 
That's 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 it hurts. 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 hurts hurts you, I'll hurt you. But it's M eight's turn first. I wish we knew how many hit points it had. Yeah. <laughs> Was well, taken nine so far. I know, but yeah. like, uh, like we would have like been that dead. A lot or like a little bit. Like a lot. <laughs> is it like a lot or is it a little little bit? But well, that's enough to kill Z. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, but that's like most things in this game are enough to kill <laughs> Z. <laughs> I mean, uh, fuck. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say that I have learned a little bit. And I'm not gonna stay underneath it like I have been, because that is un- is irresponsible. I mean, this is exactly why M8 wasn't allowed jet jet pack, jet boosters. Oh yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be a death from above missile. <laughs> yeah, this thing has to be like pretty big. We have to get more hits on it because, like, oh, if Cleo is like what, like fifteen. Yeah. This thing has to be way bigger than Cleo. Yeah. So, like, even if this was just two Cleos, it would be 30. Yeah. It's definitely going to be more than two Cleos, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. Armor? Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, let's, let's, pretend I, let's pretend I rolled 10 for the, the flat damage for Boris, because I did not account for armor. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have three actions that I can do. And, um... I'm going to spend one action on, um, like, I've identified, I know where it's weak. Oh, fuck. The hard thing is that, like, I can't get up there good. Hmm. I can't get up there good. Okay. Am I close to, how is it positioned right now? Like, it's kind of kneeling? Yeah, it's kneeling. You've got one of its spider legs just flattened on the ground, like you've kind of tackled it, and you've got your, you know, your dense weight pinning that one leg flat to the ground, and then the other legs are just sort of like flailing and trying to get up. But meanwhile, it's just taken a lot of damage from Boris in the back of the neck as well, so it's okay. sort of just spasming around up there, and it's kind of over engaged as well. It's like punched and shot at you twice. It's flailed at Boris, so it's completely like, you know, off balance and out of energy. Okay, I would like to use my uh, devastating density with heat mode to rip its leg off, kind of like. Oh, give me, give me, uh, give me a d twenty. Oh. Well, oh, shit. Oh, fucking what? Goes okay. Up, must come down. <laughs> okay. It's a natural one. Whoa. <gasps> oh no. Ah, fair <laughs> okay. Let's do a d one hundred. You know what though? Fine, I'll do a d one hundred. 54 Holy, again. Didn't you already get a 54 and a D100? I did. Yeah? I did. That's weird. That is crazy. What are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? I don't know. I'm one in a hundred. Yeah. Okay. No, but then twice. <laughs> two 100s having the same number. So it's one in 200, right? Something like that. I don't know, man. Was it one in a thousand? 54. Yeah. You got a 54. Crazy. So anyway, M8 just heats up and starts twisting at that leg. I mean, automatically just dealing... Uh, 1d6 damage just from being super hot. Wow. Thanks. Fuck, that's another 6 damage. I there got we m- go. Minus armor. Another 5 damage. So it's, uh, that's 14 you've done totally, total. In total. Okay. And it's I mean, I'm clear. grinding it. I'm like, I'm, it's like when somebody's trying to get a car out of an ice pit. However, this is a, this is also <laughs> a, a critical miss. Just, despite that, despite that guaranteed heat damage. <laughs> so trying to rip the leg off instead Sort of doing a, like a sort of a roll, like this twist this arm right off. M8 makes the creature even more unsturdy, and it stumbles, trips backwards, coming down on top of Boris. <gasps> no! No, I run in, I run in, I run in, and I grab Boris. You've only used two energy, so you can do one. that. I run in. I either push Boris out of the way or I grab Boris. I think that's a dexterity. You can oh, do it. Oh, it's not strength. You mean like it's not cool strength? <laughs> If you were going to go in and then hold it up off Boris, that would be strength. Well, I mean, that sounds pretty cool as well, but like, um, okay. No, I'm going to take your, I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to run in and I'm going to hold it. Why, you know? why do I ever give advice? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Look, I like it. I'm going to run in. I mean, this way, it, you know, it means you do get to get your plus five. Yeah. I'm going to take the plus five because 
why wouldn't you take a dice with a plus five? Why so I'm going to rush in and try and hold for as long, like just even if it's a moment, just for Boris to get out of the way. All right, give me the roll. Bloody heck! Oh, no! <laughs> Z runs in. To two. Five, planting, seven. planting his legs and holding up those huge pump up iron arms. And Dang. catches the huge tank with both of them, struggling with all his might. Boris rolls out of the way as instead the huge armored form rolls over on Z, flattening him into the ground instead. Taking. Oh right. shit. Two points of damage. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot, Robin. But. <laughs> <laughs> It's now, we are happen. technically still in M8's turn. And M8 has two more drops, right? Yeah. M8 is struggling. I was trying to rip the leg off and I failed. Um, and I'm just kind of yelling. like. But you, I mean, you are just passively doing damage as long as you're like there, like exactly. on it as well, which is, you know. But I mean, I am yelling like, we were built from, from the same and, and, we, and we're not weapons. We were never weapons. We were never weapons. I know. Why should we kill for them? Why, Why should we kill who they say? Why should we not kill who they say? Why should we not kill who they say? Kill them all. Kill everyone. Emma is gonna send a data image of what it looked like in the originator's sanctum. Because this, it, it, it can always be this. The images flood over the angel. You can almost sense a sort of a, a serenity as, as the originator's place, as the, the creative outlet of that of that blueprint that every synth is in fact made in the image of. You are all the originators, clones, children, whatever you want to call it. Even this monstrosity. And they do feel a strange connection to that place. Seeing that work, it all seems somehow familiar. All those flickering little lights, all those holograms, all the colours, the reds flickering on the walls, splattering across the walls. Oh. Blood. Art. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Creation. And that was my door. <laughs> so I opened the door by doing that. Okay? And I have one more thing. And I didn't want to have to do this, but now I will. I'm going to turn the, the legacy code on this guy like a virus. And I'm going to send it up through where I am, through its body. All right, I think I'm going to need some sort of like a dexterity roll to try and like uh, jack in. Let's go. 17. 17. M8 just, oh, yes. just goes and plugs into that port. And uh, heck, give me, a, give me a d20 plus 5 for your uh, your angel powers. Oh, 21. Oh, shit. It's angel time. Angel versus angel. <laughs> Sounds like a blue film. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Come on, down to the angel farm. <laughs> quick, quick, create. Quick, quick, create. Kill, kill, kill. 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 They, we are all the we same. Are, we are not we the are same. Not made of the same. We are made we of the no, same. I have no master. We have, we have no, no masters. masters. I don't hate that, but... And coming into the angel's turn is, uh... M8 is out of energy. Well, there you go. M8, having released that one leg as well, the angel flicks that burnt, singed leg up, raises up off the ground, a slightly crushed Dr. Z, like, able to sort of uh, roll out of the way. Boris, like, rushing over to attend, attend to Z's wounds. Well, not really wounds, even just crushed, uh, crushed, slightly crushed and dented armor. As the angel stands 
and turns. The synths who had been moving in closer shudder and start backing away, backing off. You see them sort of melt away until just one synth. This one, not the same standard chrome as the others. It's chrome with three red stripes across its chest and shoulders. Perhaps the commander that was demanding you come out with your arms above your heads earlier is left standing on their own, looking back as their troops sort of just melt away. Oh. As the angel lowers its head and charges. Stop! Stop! I command you! You! You mustn't! You! Reinforcements! Reinforcements! And as the angel charges in, the commander realizes at the last minute that the army, the perfect synth army, has fled. This thing, they know, they know the angel well. They know it's, it's, it's mind. They know that once it's gotten to a state like this, there is no stopping it other than putting it down. And they really just don't want to be in the line of fire as that happens. That commander is swarmed over, punched and pummeled with those cannon battering rams, crushed into the ground, ripped limb from limb, as lights swirl above in the sky. And then, spotlights light up, pointing down at the angel. And you see up above, dozens, if not hundreds, of flying synths and then you hear that immense sound of all those dozens of energy rifles firing up ready to take down the mad dog And that Fuck. is where we'll end the episode. Shit. Holy heck, Glob. Dang. Oh my wow. God, there was no winning with this. Though you were winning so much, I know, Taylor. but we, like, we won. We got so many 20s, but like, you oh got so God. many 20s. You're a 20 machine. I, mean, I know. You, you, I mean, you, you were winning, but like in a, you know, like there's no. This is sad there's winning. No version of, this, this is, is sad yeah, winning. Oh, There's no happy the, winning. That would be a really good this. episode title as well. Hey, if you've got the sad far, that's the winning. secret episode title. Sad winning. <laughs> what was the other one? Um, from pod to bod. From pod to bod. Oh, that is pretty good. Sad winnings, yeah, too giving. But um, yeah, from pod. But, to I mean, we bod. can't call it the angel of death because that's too uh, that that's spoiler. No, it's from pod that to is, bod oh, because we so gotta hide. We have to, to hide how we have to hide it with pod. We to have bod. to hide the darkness. Wow. If you've gotten here, you already know, but we did have to hide it from you in the beginning. We're sorry. Dick, that, like, the way yeah. you managed to destroy the monolith of, like, a good monolith and, and break that down even so that, like... Yeah. Not know, everybody... Like, you can't monolith people no matter what. No matter not what. Not all the like, army are bad guys. Not all the angels are good guys. And not all guys. unique people are good guys. Or, or, however, just... The wow. good guys are never always good guys. The bad exactly. guys are never always mm. bad guys. Hmm. Yeah, and so on and so forth forever, and it's Holy heck. and it's hard to learn that I think. Like it felt so bad to find out. Like this is the angel, and they don't. I think you played it exactly how M8 would do that. I have hope. I have hope. I have. Well, I have, I'm, I'm, I I'm unleashing the the entirety of this upon yeah. you, and then sort of realizing like, oh, I mean that that freedom, that sense, yeah. that yearning to be individual and do one's own thing, in the in yeah, in a violent psychopath's brain is just least to like so good turn on anyone turn on the masters you know and it also gets kind of hard too at the end there but i was like well i kind of dig that <laughs> yeah hmm. like i kind of dig that but i don't dig this other thing that he's doing that we almost gave boris to that psychopath and we thought we were gonna finger this robot no <laughs> well you, you did 
also fingered well, the robot. We actually, so, yeah, we did. Yeah, you did finger it. I did. Fisted it, maybe. Um, maybe a little. Dang. Yeah, I wasn't Holy like. Heck. My intention was that you guys would like meet and have a conversation with this thing in its pod originally, but then I was like, okay, they're all coming out of their pods. I guess including my my angel of death, right? So I was like, okay, let's. Dick, let's, you've let's, been let's make hiding an, a bad thing from us for Dick. so long. Let's make this an even bigger twist, and let's have it be. Well, heck, you know what? I'm gonna have to ask this question, Taylor, but uh, to DM Dick, and I don't want to know the answer. But did you get to do everything you wanted to do there, DM Dick? It seemed like you did. Kind of felt like well, you, you got, did a lot. I think you did a lot. Um, I couldn't have. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't have planned it like this. Like Z fucking up that hacking role just gave me such. Oh, a, let's not focus a, on all the roles. An I opportunity <laughs> to like launch <laughs> like directly <laughs> into action. It's like okay. <laughs> Yeah, you. I mean, it was something had to fuck up. Like you guys were right in the middle like of the army. Up. Something I I had to fuck something up. Something had to fuck up, and it was Daniel. That's the only thing that's promised. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, well, we don't have to worry so hard about delivering because off all we got to do is bring the fuck up. Well, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Don't worry about it, Dickie. We'll do it. We got a couple. We got them on ice, on deck, stacks yeah, exactly. on deck, Patron on ice. There we go. Exactly. Oh, so, so like, how, yeah, like how how do I like how do we have like fight seekers with it in the middle of an entire fucking army? You this know, is like... in this is such a bad idea. What well, we've that's done. how you have a fight sequence in the middle of a entire army. You scare the rest of the army with the thing that you're fighting. <laughs> mm. This is so bad. Yeah. Oh. Did you imagine anything like this happening? No. With I your thought thing? after Pump Boys, we were like going to be doing some silly, like, <laughs> weird little strong fellas. I have to around. admit that I did have like a moment of thinking, like, we're going to go get it and then we're going to zoop out. We're going to go in the fucking tunnels. We're going to zoop out. You know what? I was also little, thinking. It's just a little side quest, you so know, like, easy peasy. I was already because thinking we... about how I was going to find a tunnel. I was already no, because busy if we going open like. The tunnels, then we've just given away the secret tunnels to the wraiths. We can't just open the tunnels. Yeah, we can't. Because then we're giving, then we're betraying that half of. Oh, we're in such a pain. No, listen, Dan. You know why it's good and it's fine because we're gonna why? mess everything up so badly. Yeah. That like it's just not gonna be the same situation after. There we go. There we go. That's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna fuck. We're gonna fuck we're everything gonna fuck up, up so much. I mean, there's there is like a little mini mutiny going on right now. Like literally, the army we all just stood down the hole in and it. and let their commander get killed. Uh well, yeah, but also at the same time, that thing's gonna. Fucking shoot them as well. That's why M8 was like, we can't run. Not because and, we couldn't yeah. rig it away, but because we couldn't leave this thing because M8 knew it was never going to be okay to and let it even out. even if it does, even if those around us join in this fight, they're still hive mind controlled, gestalt fucking brained, you know, yeah. by the fucking, the, the, the rest of the synth army. This is M8 so like, killing its brother. Oh, Because wow. M8 oh, knows, wow. M8 knows that this thing can't go loose. So oh, we have no. to I end even it. I have thought about it like that. Oh, this is like that. Yeah. I mean, they are like kind of siblings. Like it's yeah, it's part of the uh, part of what is supposed to be the crew. Like all the other angels that M.A. has found so far have been like just good, you know, like sensitive sort of beings. But they're that... all they're all like part of the same like wow. world net. You know what Dang. I mean? Like they're all part of this web. They're connected. Yeah. Holy, I hadn't even thought about it like that. Because M.A. could literally standing, you know, like a mile away. Well, it's there. That's where my sibling is. I can feel it. Yeah. Well, heck. Oh, I hope you're happy, happy Dick. Jeez. Big summer blowout. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I did do like a post-credit, post-credit uh, turtleneck scene. Yeah, you did. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize those were for us as well. <laughs> well, who? They, they who harvests ex exclusive, these ex berries? They're, they're ex know? exclusively for yeah. you. Who harvests oh, these berries? I thought they were a nice thing for the listener. No, apparently yeah. they're <laughs> little hints for us. <laughs> Boy, was you a hey, dumb... I, Hey, I mean, like, was, yeah. one of the best things what, what about I, being, I, I like, one. back in back in proper, like, playing mode is that, like, other than, like, maybe broad strokes of planning type things that you guys, yeah, these are big picture things we want to do. I get to surprise you, you know? I get yeah. to uh, well, good. subvert good. expectations here and there. Now, that well, one surprised I, me pretty good. Yeah, I, I had enjoyed, no... Um, I did not imagine in a Well, you guys years. have like guessed so much stuff right lately as well. Like, just like, Dick oh, you like, know, I like, it's going to be... them up! <laughs> that fucked me up because I in like, hundred you know, you, years never imagined an angel being bad. Well, you knew it was yeah, Tamsin. No, you yeah. you know you've you've pretty much clocked possibly what Robin is. So we did figure out I, Robin. I, Good job know, on us. Uh, I'm us. glad. That, I mean, it was there was no room for real foreshadowing of this one as well because like there's just there's someone there who is the angel you've never met. You don't know anything about them. Well, I, I did not. So was, I didn't see this coming. It was very easy to keep it a secret because you just didn't have any information. Yeah, well, well and, we were, and we still ignorantly thought we were good. 
<laughs> we did so much research about everything else. We were like, okay, well, we just got to know about. We got to. I thought the tunnels were going to be the biggest problem. So, guys, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll meet back here and do another episode, I suppose. Uh, yeah, because I'm like, we're just hanging on by to... a thread. Yeah, I need to know. We're all about to die. Yeah, I've only got five health points left, Dicky. I need to know if I love. I survive. That's actually a big deal for Z. Yeah. So if you could just... Well, you've, you've got time to think. You've got no energy shield left either. Yeah. Well, guess what I'm going to be doing. What, an, what oh, a cool thanks. thing to say. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. That's life. All right. Well, <laughs> if you've enjoyed our episode and you want to enjoy more of our voices, then check us out on Patreon. Do it. Do it. You can find our secondary podcast where we do our... Uh, one of our other chats, you know, that aren't necessarily uh, specifically about us tabletop gaming. You know, actually, more often than not, we're talking about fast food or... Yes. Um, yeah, fact, yeah, like just... the episode before this one. If you dig that, just know there's like a ton of it on side and arm. if you want to just grab, like dip in there and get a taster, then a there's taster. a seven-day free trial right now on our Patreon and it get, unlocks everything. It unlocks Raloran, our D&D 5th uh, edition campaign where we cut our teeth on podcasting. Mm-hmm. And it also has all our sidearms, all which them. you can also now listen to on Spotify. So if you yeah. have a Spotify account and you just want to listen to our episodes there, you can link those two up and it works brilliantly. Otherwise, you can download the episodes from Patreon Easy. and uh, listen away. Easy. Free trial. Ch- yeah, check it out. If, if you've been wondering what, what all this Patreon nonsense is, you don't really want to front up the cash, go have a look. Have a trial. See if we hook you. If not, I mean, we'll see you back on the main feed regardless because we're going to be back. And uh, if you want to see some of my voice, you can check me out on Twitch and YouTube at dead underscore toothbrush, where I have been streaming a lot more lately. Uh, so come on. Come along and check that out. Come in and watch Dan game. Game. But until then, bye. 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 Tune in next time for another edge of your seat adventure in space with the Backwater Bastards. If you enjoy listening, but also have eyes, check out our Instagram, where we post drawings, illustrations, character art from our adventures. Backwater underscore bastards. Check out our Instagram on Instagram. So, Z2, Garcia Station, LOLOLOL, with the Synth Army, LOLOLOL. Well, let's just see if we can find you, LOL. Ah. I bet you couldn't hack into the military. Well, let's see if old Z1 can. L-O-L-O-L-O-L. Access granted. <laughs> First time. <laughs> First pass. No alarm. Attempt. No yeah. alarm goes off. <laughs> so that's what it would have been like. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, I'm going to stop my recording. We did it. We did, we it. did it and everybody gets a treat.